And we do have breaking news as we're on the air tonight, a dramatic final showdown over the Dakota pipeline in North Dakota. In fact, pictures coming in just moments ago, police moving in right there to make their arrests. ABC's Philip Mena is on the scene in North Dakota. Tonight, police moving in, forcibly arresting the remaining pipeline protesters in North Dakota. Facing a 2 p.m. deadline to evacuate or face arrest, some protesters began ceremonially setting fire to parts of their camp, preferring to burn it rather than have it seized and destroyed. It's all done uh, with the intent of, of getting this area cleaned up. This area here uh, potentially could be facing a flood rather soon. This day was inevitable. After President Trump signed executive actions last month, moving the pipeline plan forward, undoing a previous order from President Obama blocking it. The protesters began gathering here last April, opposing the construction of the 1,200-mile Dakota Access Pipeline that would run from North Dakota to Illinois. They say the pipeline would disturb sacred Native American sites and pollute rivers and water supplies. The pipeline company says it will be safer and cheaper than trucks or trains. <laughs> Clashes between protesters and police have turned violent in the past. At its peak, the movement drew thousands. Today, we saw many of the few hundred left packing up and moving out. I don't know what to do. I'm a mother. I'm not trying to get hurt, and I'm not trying to get arrested, and I'm not a criminal. David, once all the protesters are removed from the campsite, the massive cleanup effort will then get underway. The company building the pipeline says it could be operational in as little as two weeks. David? Philip Mena on the scene for us tonight. Philip, thank you.